What's up guys? This is the Rifle and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off happened last time, uh, the Spanish landed in Latin and uh, took Genoa, so the garrison from Turin has gone to lay siege to them, but they have decided to sally. So without further ado, let's crack on. Um, so I very much need to research down to Quicklime and get howitzers out to my armies pretty quickly because we're starting to really struggle against the weight of Ottoman numbers. I think that's a pretty big, it's a pretty clear indicator that something's not great. Or we need to break the strength of our Catholic enemies, France and Spain. Let's form a fairly uh, uncontroversial formation. Let's drop our grenadiers behind and our howitzers behind them and let them come at us. Uh, mainly because they are attacking us. I have no reason. There's no. I have no desire to push up. So let's triple speed it. I really can't afford to lose men. The howitzers have started to engage against the cavalry. But I don't think it will be very long before uh, before the enemy forces pretty much hit our lines and get repulsed. Even they have cuirassiers, lots of cool infantry types. Uh, so these are cuirassiers. What is the actual cool cavalry like? Conquistadors. That's the one. They look great. The horse guards is about to get within musket range of my men. 25th. Present. Fire. First volley. Saw seven. Curassiers go down. Next volley. Saw another eight or nine go down. Form the world's slowest square. These units may as well end up staying in square because of the threat. My artillery is landing shots on them. Missed. Yeah, Crossiers have pulled back, but that's not going to save them. With no infantry on this flank, they're going to suffer trying to take out my infantry. If only they advance just a small fraction. Not that it's going to matter. See, light horses, stars, conquistadors. Mass cavalry charge could end up breaking this flank. And they may result. There you go, so let's pull these men out. They may rout, and that's okay. My only plan, the only real plan is to try and pull back and see if I can draw them into the 21st. If I can cause the cavalry to chase after them and bash into the new square. Elsewhere, battle is about to be joined. I'm surprised if they have routed. Spain's cavalry has now met my next breakwater. Let's probably push my grenadiers up to provide extra support. 
as we begin trading musket fire. So let's start dropping shells on their strongest units, maybe even carcass shot. Carcass shot's kind of like poor man's quickline, but quickline is just so damn effective every day of the week. Yeah, they brought up even the virus regiment, but will they be enough to break my squares? I don't think so. You stay where you are. Sick regiments come back. It's drawn them into attack, but I think I'm going to get my line set up again. Carcass shot's going in. Big charge of enemy troops. Especially Swiss Guard and Walloon Guards. Okay, let's retarget my artillery. Let's get the unit to start a round shot plinking the general's bodyguard. You guys can spin. Because any threat against the cavalry is probably not gonna stand out. Or not be not last. to ref uh, reload. And let these guys continue to fire against the Irish regiment. See if we can make them shatter prior to leaving the fields of fire. Yeah, the, light, the light horse understandably managed to make that unit round. So they're going to chase them down. So let's... Well, I was going to say that. Drop these guys into squares. It looks like they're determined to try and fight on. some no round shot works. Good, pouring fire onto the 13th. Just send the unit to march all the way to their guns. Mainly because we know it's going to have to be done at some point and their guns outrange my howitzers, so I can't do it with my infantry. Okay, let's make sure I'm picking everyone except you. And you can just run and attack them, but I think this is probably going to be over fairly quickly, so I'm going to speed up time a little bit because these guys are just going to get mown down. There we go. The gunners might even route once my guys get close enough. Ah! Capital choice! <laughs> even if they didn't run away. Jesus, look at that. <laughs> right behind it, like a church. Good job, everyone. Good. Only 300 men remain. These traps are going to be frustrating, and they've, uh, they've managed to raid a port, which is important to hold. The Ottomans are continuing their push after those series of gruelling battles in Istanbul, which is part of the reason why I need, need quicklime. Come on, Russia. You should be helping me out here. I'm fighting your enemies. Instead, looks like they're gonna... Uh, no, don't intercept. That's very bad. It's annoying, but it's not terrible. We'll be in financial trouble 
this turn. Because we'll have no trade. We'll have no trade coming in. And um, we've got ships to the south, and the Russian troops, the Russian ships aren't in good condition. So we will probably be able to capture them. God, this, this campaign was going so well, and now it's really starting to, well, turn the heat up, that's for sure. I think I need to knock out either Spain or France. I need a win to destroy or to even even trying to get rid and you know, make peace with one of my enemies hasn't worked because Spain's turned around and invaded me. So we are bankrupt and we're going to be losing cash because this guy is lone cavalry man. Send you in to take them out. Bring this guy back to the fold. Oh, I shouldn't have sent one of my grenadiers. Yeah, I was expecting I shouldn't have sent one of my grenadiers. Yeah, but bankrupt. Okay, let's send some of my stouter troops. And they're just dragoons. Come on, dudes. So that's not saved us, if anything, actually, for some reason, it's made the problem worse, even though we've actually got less men now than we did before. Oddly. Um, let's tax these guys. Which has helped a lot. Plus 600. But the main problem is these guys. So we could attack them, but we could also try and broker a peace. I mean, we're technically at peace with the Ottomans. How long that will last, I don't know. We're at war with Britain, we're at war with Spain, and Spain's... Spain's pretty strong. I could try and trade with the Ottomans. They want Lombardy? No. And they also want fire and, and advance, which is also no. Okay, let's send my capable ships up to come and take these Russian ships. Let's take them. Let's make sure we take them. And we might not even keep them. We may end up... We may end up um, ransoming them. Cause mainly, mainly because we can't afford to keep the armies we the ships we do have running. <laughs> what did I forget? Oh, even even in this I forgot a ship. Firstly, this galley, go away. We've got our second raid up front. We captured ship KD because we can't currently build our own. But this is why I want. It would be nice to capture these ships, but I think I am just going to buy them off. Let's try to set a bit more up threat. So you're going over here. This ship's okay, the direction it's going for now. These guys are pretty damaged. They've lost half their guns. Keep going. Full sail. There we go. So obviously these guys are are all limited based on the fire on the speed of the second rate. What? <laughs> I 
<laughs> How did he die? <laughs> That's dumb. Sailing in. Where's this third wing? Here you just nail it like that. And a formation, keep them marching along straight ahead, except for my second rate. Everyone, set it full sail. I want my second rate to pivot because I want to fire a broadside into the side of this guy. It would be great if I could. Give it to the left a little bit, fire. You pivot immediately and try fire chain shot into the mast of this fourth rate. down a few pegs as well. Yeah, knock our mast would be great. But they're not gonna let me have it. So obviously I'm not maximizing my firepower based on all of the where all of these ships are sailing. Come on. Bring them, knock them down a peg or two. Take up one of those masts. Good. The main mast is gone. Routing. Ooh, bit of friendly fire there. Shot. Oh, is that one of the masts gone? Yeah. So just pivot you to one side. You just stay where you are. Stay where you are. You get around somewhere like here. You get around somewhere like here. You just pivot and stop what you're doing. This chap's still trying to escape. It's staggering that some of these ships haven't... This guy hasn't surrendered yet. They're already doing very poorly in the staying alive scale. It's over and again. Oh, 
How many dead Russian sailors do you need? Uh, audio. I don't know why. Sometimes it's sometimes it's fine. I like I have no problems for like for, for I have no problems for hours and hours and hours. But yet sometimes the game gods decide. I've not had problems in so long, I deserve to have uh, lots of problems shot at once. Okay, I was going to say, an entire broadside from a second rate ship of the line, and we're already heavily damaged. Good. Damn right, it was decisive. It, it protected our port. And so, how much do we get? Two grand if we chuck him out. I think I might chuck him out. I need a new navy, but I need cash in the short term more. Let's drop these guys up here. So next turn we're at 2,000. That's it. Can't we build the governor's barracks? It takes Zagreb, but that puts me in a bit of a bind here. Do not like how France is gathering a force here. But it does give us enough to fix the trade port. Not enough to fix the governor's barracks, but enough to fix the farm. The Ironmaster's works. And maybe actually get some repairs off here. Actually, quite cheap repairs. Not for these guys, though. Yeah, one and a half thousand ish. That's what they want. Okay. Proof chain isn't the priority. So I'm suffering in income because I've not got trade with those regions. Because my port is broken. You demand a lot of us. So let's see how the Ottomans decide to play it. And this isn't going to be a sneak attack. I'm not going to push if they decide to actually leave us some wiggle room. Um, I do want them to make space and clear out. And what I would like... What to be honest, I probably do just need to push on Spain and take them out. Push on Spain take out capturing Madrid would be great but we start to get lots of problems like we were having with the Knights of St John campaign because it would be quite a big campaign to actually subdue the population same if we pushed on the British territories in North Africa but we do need to challenge them so they don't treat it as a safe haven I think in the moment, the grand scheme, I'm, I'm not as stable as I would like. Got to improve grape shop. That wasn't really a priority, but I still let it ride. Maybe rights of man to increase the town wealth would be good. It's not so much military I'm worried about now. Let's fix that. Getting back up to 7,000 with our trade. I do want an army here in the event they don't, that they decide to change their mind about declaring war on us. But I would like to pull these troops back 
marcia. to mainland Italy. Signore. In order to maybe base a future force around them. Push, take Cagliari, add a small bit of tax, but kick the French away, the Spanish away just a little bit more. And maybe land an army in Madrid to fight them on their doorstep rather than my own. Oh no, no, do repair. And also, let's set these guys to replenish as much as they can. And let's also redeploy this small navy to Greece. So. Our tech is good. I think if we took the Spanish out, that would be great. Taking the, Brit taking the Brits out of North Africa would be difficult because we'd suffer a lot from um, morale problems so i think maybe building an army around rome yeah temporarily we're getting bankruptcy problems but they'll go away soon i do need to repair naples the poles are at war with the ottomans that's not our concern they are moving their troops away which is good They've been moving back and forward a lot, so I'm not so bothered about them. It's their main army that was at Istanbul, and it's now marched west. So I know my campaign's been very... This campaign's been very to and fro. Let's attack here. Let's attack there. Let's do this. Let's do that. Um, I think if I fully equipped an army, I could probably land and take... Do I? No. I was about to say, do I take Morocco and push north? I can't do that, because Spain has a massive navy. They control the strait. If I do that, I'll be stuck in Morocco, and I can't go anywhere, and then I'd have the Brits charging in from North Africa. As, as they always do. Yeah, what are they like? War declared between Britain and Prussia. That's almost pointless, because Prussia only has Stuttgart left. Let's replenish. To be honest, because this area is now so valuable to me, it might be worth me recruiting a general Generale, non possiamo. and dumping a fort down here. In marcia. Avanti. Mio sire. How much do I need to repair this? 2,600. Signor si. No, I think we, we do just need to push. Maybe not with a full stack, with a smaller stack, and maximise our advantage in firepower. Spend whatever cash we can on... No, none of these ships can be repaired with the money we have. Let's get rid of this guy's brig. Didn't mean to make him a general or an admiral. Nothing to spend an extra 300 quid on. Except maybe... Nope, can't repair that. Okay. So I want to take Sardinia. Oh, we might actually want a full army to attack that. <laughs> um, it would probably take a few defensive battles because we will be... I mean, that's bit concerning but we've got an army there um, we might need some defensive battles to take Sardinia or do I just bypass it and take do I go straight for the more bountiful lands to the west maybe I mean and it's, it's not escaping my notice that Sweden is now growing in Central Europe which may cause us problems <laughs> I mean, it will cause us problems in the future. But if we can knock out Spain, that would be very useful. 
because it would free up our western flank. Or at the very least it would direct fighting to the west to be around Spain rather than my home region where my ports and capital are. Signore. Okay, first thing to do, repair Naples. Signor si. Let's recruit. Two howitzers, and let's not make this an expensive army. Just go with a bunch of line infantry. Maybe even militia at this point to minimize the impact. Oh, okay, 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 okay. To minimize the impact of our. of our uh, sustainment problems. So it's four and a half grand for the Ordnance Board. Okay, let's not go crazy with our multi-turn recruitment. Let's stick to one year. Let's spend some money rebuilding this unit. Let's spend some money make sure these guys are going to fully replenish. We haven't got a drop of fort money because it's 5,000. But we want to build. Okay. <laughs> Do I want to intercept? No. Ooh. Can you hold Turin? You can do a lot of damage to them. Hmm. I don't think they'll be able to hold the city, but they'll be able to damage this army a lot. So much so, where I guess the. Uh, as is tradition with the Italian states, my idea of I'll send an army this way, I'll send an army this way that army, the new army I'm creating will go to Paris that's where it's going to go because screw you France you don't screw with me like this um, so looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part and thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time where the goal isn't to hold on to Turin, it's only to do as much damage as possible so that the army in Genoa can then immediately lay siege to it, radio Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, everyone.